Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to solve using elimination. Um, this one is a little bit harder because of the fact that if you look at it, um, negative 18 and 9 and 5 and 3, neither one of them cancel off right off the bat. Um, it does not matter which one you choose to eliminate, whether you choose to eliminate X or whether you choose to eliminate Y. Um, you're going to get the same answer either way. Sometimes one of them will require less work. Um, what I typically look for is when I'm choosing the variable, I look to see if one of them already has opposite signs. That way I don't have to deal with multiplying by a negative. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter. You could choose to eliminate something different than what I chose. I'm going to choose to eliminate my x terms. And the reason I'm choosing x over y is because the x terms, one of them is already negative and the other one is already positive. And the other reason is, is because I only have to multiply the 9 by 2 to get the 18. Where if I try to eliminate my y's, they're both the same sign, so I would have to multiply one of them by a negative. And since I can't multiply 3 by something um, that is an integer to get 5, I would have to multiply both equations, so it would give me twice as much work. So, like I said, I'm going to choose to eliminate x's because they have opposite signs, and I can multiply the 9 by 2 to get the opposite of negative 18, which is positive 18. So once I've decided which variable I'm going to eliminate, I need to figure out what I have to do to get them to be opposites of each other. And as I said, the top one is going to stay the same because the negative 18x, I don't have to do anything to it to get it to be negative, um, nor do I have to do anything to it to get it to be something um, where it's, I, I don't have to multiply the top one. This bottom equation, I do have to multiply by 2 because 2 times 9 gives me 18x. So now I have opposite numbers in front of x, which is what my goal is in order to eliminate. Um, and then I would have 6y equals 42. And now we would just simply add these two equations together. Since we have opposite signs, that was why I chose them was because they were opposite. Um, 5 plus 6 gives me 11y. And 2 plus 42 gives me 44. And so then if I just divide both sides by 11, we end up with y equals 4. Don't forget, I have a lot of students that get to this point, they're like, oh, I have an answer, I must be done. But you do have to go and take and plug it back into either of your original equations. It does not matter which one you pick. I'm going to choose this one simply because... Um, the x term is positive and it's smaller than the negative 18. It really, as I said before, does not matter. You can use either one of them because it will work in both of them. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to replace the y term with 4. So I would have 3 times 4 equals 21. And we would just simply solve this equation. So I have 9x plus 12 equals 21. Um, some of you could probably skip a lot of these steps. I'm just showing everything so you can see where I get everything. Most of the time, if I were solving these, I skip a lot of these steps. Like I would just subtract the 12 um, without showing the work. Um, x is still not completely by itself, so we would divide both sides by 9, and we end up with x equals 1. So our solution as an ordered pair is x is 1 and y is 4. And as I've said multiple times, I always check to make sure that it works, even if that means just plugging it back in in your head and just talking yourself through it. But I would always go back to both equations and make sure that when I plug in the 1 for x and the 4 for y, I want to make sure that it makes the equation true. So if I look at this, I end up with negative 18 plus 20 equals 2. And we can see that that is true. Um, 20 minus 18 is indeed 2. So the first one works. Um, we want to check both of them. So to check the other one, I would simply just plug in the 1 for the x and the 4 for the y. And we see if this one works. And it does because 9 plus 12 is also 21. So we can see clearly that our answer makes sense. We have the correct answer. So 1, 4 is the intersection point of these two lines. Um, the checking part, again, you just plug it into your calculator if you need to, but always take the few minutes that it takes just to check. 
As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or there are other topics that you need me to um, cover, please just let me know.